Hey guys, Simcolor here, and today we're going to start working on the project, the Snapchat series. And we are going to start by just creating an Android project and taking care of the Firebase uh, connection between the two. So it will be a fairly simple uh, tutorial. It is just less and better yet. It is just to get off so that we can work uh, on it uh, in the next lesson. So. The first thing that we need is obviously um, an Android project and so you're going to go into inside your Android Studio and start a new project. So for the application name I'm going to call it Snapchat Clone. Company name simcolor.com seems about right. Yeah. Don't tick any of this. Okay, phones and tablets, it will be for that and we are going to start with an empty activity okay main activity okay you can call it that finish and it will create it automatically for you uh, let's just wait a second and I'll get back to you once it is finished okay so it has finished uh, loading up and you should get something like this and just so that you know I'm going to go inside help about and I'm currently using the Android Studio 3.0.1 just so that you know if you don't have uh, uh, this version already yet if you have a version lower than this consider updating that way you probably uh, won't have any problems with implementing the code that we are going to write in here so that's it for now uh, we have the you could run this on your phone right now but it, it just has this layout right here uh, it doesn't do us any good so the the first thing that we are going to do is to actually implement the Firebase account so you are going to go inside and I'm going to reload it again with uh, Firebase you can search it on Google go inside go to console and it takes some time to load up and in here you will have all the the projects that you have. These are separated projects and as you can see I have Snapchat here uh, and that's because I already have some of the code implemented and so I created one. But for uh, the sake of uh, teaching you guys I'm going to create a new project and for that I'm going to inside add new project and call it Snapchat clone. Okay, uh, you can leave United States, there's no problem with that. Uh, simply create project and it is going to take some time, but uh, yeah, just let it load. Okay, after it has finished loading, you, a page like this should appear to you and it, this is the dashboard that you'll use and as you can see you have some things uh, on the left side that I talked about in the um, introduction lesson, which are the authentication, the database and storage. I won't get into them uh, in this uh, lesson, but we'll do in the future. For now, all you want to do is to add Firebase to your Android app. Go inside here, and now uh, we have to do a couple of things. So go inside your Snapchat clone project, and you have this package name up top on your main activity uh, .java. And if you don't see it here, you can go inside your uh, Gradle script, build Gradle, and it should show up inside here application ID so you can just grab that go inside here and Android package name just paste it there we can don't need the nickname for now but we do need this uh, signing certificate and to get it uh, all you have to do is to go into your uh, Android project go on this left uh, right pane where it says Gradle click it and wait just a second so that it can load up everything click this refresh uh, button so that you can if it doesn't show up right away go inside here and in Android pay, in this Android tab click signing in reports and double click it okay and this should appear in uh, below here if it doesn't uh, and you are in the run page right here simply go inside uh, this button and click it. Be if this is showing up to you then you must click this button and this uh, page with the numbers and letters and everything that we need will appear. And all that you need inside here are these uh, 
is this uh, set of strings, set of string that uh, is called SHA1. So you are going to copy that, go inside your Firebase dashboard and simply uh, paste it there. Register app. And now uh, you'll be asked to download this Google services.json. Download it and keep in mind that this is, um, how can you say it? It is uh, specific to each and every single app. So if you are downloading from uh, my GitHub, then you must uh, download your own and change it accordingly. So you are just going to grab it. And as it says here, you mu we must change uh, our project view uh, to project. So that means that you must go inside here and go inside project. And it will change a, a bit, but it, uh, it is basically the same, but the layout is a bit uh, different. So you are going to grab the Google uh, services.json and paste it uh, and drag it to your app. Okay, yeah, to your app. I was just double checking that. Can close that up, uh, change, uh, go inside here and change to app, otherwise it will be always running on the signing in report. And now we are basically done. We just need to do a couple more things, which are the dependencies. The dependencies are basically libraries that you can add to your project without having to copy uh, the files in and of it themselves. It does this for you. So the first thing that we need is this class path. And to add it, we are going to change back to Android so that we can. It is easier to, to na navigate through, and we are going to, inside the Gradle scripts, build Gradle project Snapchat clone, and we are just going to paste it here in the dependency below the, this class path that's already there. Okay, we aren't going to sync the Gradle right now. I'm just going to close that. We uh, just wait a second, and we'll do it uh, later. Then open up Build Gradle module app. Even though they have uh, the same names, they are different. And we are going to apply this plugin inside here at the bottom of the file. It must be after the the last bracket. Okay, and that's it. I mean, uh, now you can finish up, and your app is successfully uh, connected to the database. Uh, to the Firebase project. So yeah, that's it. I mean, we are not going to do anything else in this lesson. We have our apps uh, synced with our Firebase uh, project. So yeah, now all you have to do is to program and to, to make it work. So yeah, in the next lesson, we are going to start working on the login and registration alongside a splash screen so that we can more easily and in a better way move on to the main screen when the user is logged in uh, and there's not much else to say so yeah i hope to see you again tomorrow and ciao